Greenlanders, they have been always surviving. It's very difficult to survive here. I'm from the Arctic. For me, it's not a new thing to meet the mountains, to meet the ice, to meet the wind. I have been doing this since I was a child. I'm Nick Nielsen and I'm from Greenland, born and raised in Rasingui. My father, Nils, he is a hunter. I'm an Eskimo. I love the word Eskimo. And I love being an Eskimo. I do. But if you ask my mother, she hates the word. Eskimos means people who eat raw, and we eat raw as well. So this is not wrong. It's not negative. For me, it's a brilliant word like Inuit. I have been always sailing. My father is a fisherman. I want to follow his steps. I started as a 10 years old in a boat, and 17 years old, educated as captain. Almost now, 30 years. My name is Captain Edward Samuelson Malmason. I like wooden boat because I trust the wood. And after those 30 years I have been sailing, I have seen how uh, wooden boats react in the sea ice. I trusted the wooden boats because of that. Чучунта Then <laughs> Was 
Kemudian Eskimos are Greenland as we hunt always. Everybody here is hunter. Everybody have a gun. Everybody have a bow. This is part of our culture. If we don't hunt, how to find potatoes? Animals in the Arctic are our potatoes. To hunt is to breathe. You breathe with your culture. Grandpa, they were hunters. They moved to a town because of their children. And like my mother, she was also thinking, my children, they will get education. This means a lot. So they can have a good life. Lots of people need this apartments or flats. Nobody owns lands here in Greenland. In the past, Danish government owns everything here in Greenland. Greenlanders, we are very good to adapt changes. Global warming is not good, but we can adapt. Here in Irulisa, we are around 4,500 and lots of people move here. It's difficult because the way to get a good life is difficult. It, it hurts inside, mentally. This road is not easy. When I was a child, here in Disco Bay, the sea gets frozen. The beginning of 2000, I moved to Denmark to study. I begin to hear global warming. And suddenly they're also talking about Greenland is melting. I talked to my father, I talked to my family, friends. They were telling me, this is true. We don't get ice anymore. This is not only a discussion for Greenlanders, this has to be a discussion for whole people. The ice burke is huge, is dangerous. And when you have sailing near of them, you see some cracks. But it's start of 2000. I will tell you two things. Some is amaze me. It's iceberg. It's beginning to crumbling 
like a gunshot. He's preparing something to kill. But when you hear like a thunder, it's already done. But when you hear endless thunder, you think it's gonna be heat. The climate change in my, what I do is benefit for me. 20 years ago, we can't sail because we have winter ice. We are now in a warm period. My opinion is the ice age will come again. But the iceberg getting smaller, the glacier moving too fast. And uh, it's curving up to 80 million tons ice per day. So it's a huge amount of ice. We say always, we can't predict the future and we don't know how it will be in the future with the weather and climate. In the summer, we are warmer. In the winter, we are warmer. Only a few degrees, it means a lot in the Arctic. But sometimes you don't believe Greenlanders or Eskimos can do the modern things. If you can survive in the past, you have to be more clever <laughs> to survive in that extreme environment. If you have a kayak, it's made by wood, and you put seal skin on the kayak. If I take the skin off the kayak, I will sink, I will die. This is our culture. If you take all this we do off, what do we have left? If we don't have a culture and know how our history works, an Eskimo is worth nothing. But the biggest resource in Greenland is a human being. If we don't develop Greenlander, we never get independent. Never. <laughs> <laughs>